Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I will be going over 7 sword DPS builds including all the elements and neutral swords so that y'all can have a little more fun with every type of element instead of using like the Honest Aborea sword for every fight or whatnot and give you a little more diversity and everything but also I would like to mention that most of the cells and the lantern are all the, all the same build so just look out for that and also another thing I would like to point out is whenever I am talking about the cells if there is a cell that I have uh, talked about in a previous build I will not talk about it but I will talk about new cells that have been introduced into builds or cells that have been taken out of builds just so you know and last last thing uh, my last video I was making a I was trying to get out that I was not going to be making Fortnite videos anymore but most people couldn't hear me or at least what the, that's what some of my friends are telling me and all that so I just like to say that here and now make it a lot easier since y'all could probably hear me now but besides that enjoy the builds enjoy the videos all right guys to kick off the builds we ironically have honest laborious and the reason why i put this in is because it's just the best frost sword in the game hands down all right so we get plus three conditioning from it and then what you want to do is you want to put plus three sharpen and plus three iceborne in the set or in the cell slots and honest laborious's unique effect is that using a special continually generates frost sprites that cause you your next attack to deal 60 bonus damage and minor frost damage max four sprites which is good i don't really know how good that is because i like just started playing with swords not too long ago but it's good just take my word for it all right all right so the next thing in this build is the special and the mod and just want to get this out every build has the same special mod so this is the last time you'll see this part so your special we have ardent dry cyclone sorry if i say some of these words wrong i i'm not that good at words but activate a full meter to start the spin damaging nearby enemy enemies for the duration reactivates the slash in a direction damaging enemies it's it's, it's a, an amazing special and then perpetual blade core damage or dealing damage while in special generates a small amount of special meter so that pretty much means while you're dealing damage in as a blade blade you're going to be gaining as much as you lose pretty much all right so now for the helmet and the chest plate you'll be you'll use the volcanic helm and boreal resolve volcanic helm will have plus three fireproof in it and then you also want to put plus three fireproof cell on that helmet to give you fireproof against any flame behemoth and then boreal resolve chest plate it gives you plus three rage and then you want to put plus three iceborne in it so you max or you get your iceborne to plus six and then you'll have the rage for other parts of the set that I will be going over in the next part. Alright for now, so for the arms and the legs, you're going to be using the Draskill Gauntlets with plus 3 energized. And then Volcanic Treads, which are the legs, and you'll put plus 3 Discipline in it. And I will explain what plus or Discipline does whenever we get into the sale part of this build so just stay tuned for that for the lantern you're going to be using draft guy so you can have your insta tap which is deal 30 percent increased damage for six seconds and your hold is fire lightning bolt in any direction that deals 150 shock damage multiple times as it passes through enemies 
which can be more useful if you have amps and like escalation that make it or give it better abilities plus you need plus three energize in it as well all right if you were to put everything in the correct way you should have plus six energized plus six fireproof plus six iceborne plus six rage plus six sharpened and two more that are going to be in the next clip which i will go over as well just couldn't fit them in this one and plus six energize gives you 40 percent weapon charge rate so whenever you're using your or whenever you're trying to charge your weapon for the uh, special and during special as you're attacking it's giving more of that special back plus six fireproof to protect yourself against fire ice born when under 50 health grants 30 percent decreased damage taken plus gives you eight percent life still and that cannot go beyond 50% health. Plus six rage when under five health or 50% health to deal 25% more damage. And then plus six sharpen to do plus 30% part damage. And then after dodging through an attack, you can deal another 100% part damage. Alright, so the last two cells in this build are plus three conditioning and plus three discipline. Plus three conditioning gives you plus 15 stamina region, which is good to keep stamina up. And plus three discipline gives you plus five, oops, 7.5% critical strike chance. And health is limited to 50% of max health, which helps Iceborne and all the other things that you need to be 50% under to activate. Alright, in the next build, we will be using the Cutterizer, which is the legendary weapon from Togataro, which is the final behemoth in the Blaze Escalation, level 10 through 50. Alright, so, in his prism, prism cell slots, whatever they're called, I can't remember, you want to put plus 3 uh, energized and plus 3 sharpened. And the good thing about this weapon, or one of the or it's a legendary ability, it's a unique effect. Uh, enter Rage, getting new attacks for 15 seconds, deals plus 25% damage when the target is below 50% health. Usable once, but resets on Behemoth Kill. It's good for interrupts, I'd say. The best part is that you can put whatever cell slot you want into the build, or into the sword. Another good thing about using the Cutter as a sword, it, you have weapon bonds so i and i use my bond for the infernal razor which gives me plus three overpower and the infernal razor's unique effect which is the eighth hit in a quick succession deals 225 bonus and major blades damage so that's going to be good for any frost behemoth that you can hit continuously for the armor of this build we will have skull forge and royals resolve Skull Forge, you want to put Iceborne in it, and its unique effect is 1.5% of all damage dealt becomes a stamina shield max 50 that depletes first when spending stamina. Depletes slowly after 5 seconds not dealing damage. And that pretty much means how, however much damage, 1.5% of that is going into a shield that caps out at 50 for your stamina and instead of using your actual stamina it's going to be going into that shield and then you want to have plus three rage, or you're going to have plus three rage on your boils resolve and ice born in itself for the gauntlets and boots of this build you want to have the god brawn which has plus three upper power and you want to put plus three discipline in it and volcanic treads that have plus three rage and you want to put plus three sharpen in it and for the lantern, you want to have the Jurassic Lantern with plus three energized in it. And the only cell that was taken out of the last build into this build is conditioning. There's no conditioning in this build whatsoever. For the shark build, use Cyclonic Fury. It's the best since it's a legendary weapon. And you can put whatever cell you want in 
and it's got a unique effect. All right, so cells plus three eyes born plus three sharpen. And the unique effect lets you teleport to a behemoth dealing shark damage. And it's only usable once, but resets on behemoth kill. That's pretty much it until we get to the bond. For the bond, I chose Storm Sword because its unique effect gives or is after dodging through an attack, your attacks gain 100% bonus meter for plus four seconds. From my understanding, I guess it's for four seconds, your attacks give you 100% bonus to your meter and, and for the plus three energy is. The armor of this build, I chose Skull Forge for the defense cell. I put Ice Bore in it and then Dark Morrow, which has plus three rage on it. And then I put plus three discipline on it. For the gauntlets and boots of the set, we have Thogadaro's Brawn with plus three overpower and, and your cell needs to be plus three sharpened and volcanic treads which has plus three rage and your cell needs to be plus three ever power the lantern i chose drask lantern and i have plus three energize in it but choose whatever you want or choose whatever cell or not cell but lantern you want it doesn't matter but the cell does all right so for the fourth build the terror build we have sovereign's torment which has plus three sharpen on it and for its cells you want to have plus three energized in it and plus three sharpen it again and its unique effect after not dealing damage for four seconds the next four attacks deals 50 percent increased damage don't worry about that it's not good the only reason why i'm using this sword is because of its cell slots the helmet and chest piece for the set is going to be skull forge and boreal resolve with Skull Forge having Iceborn in it, or plus three Iceborn, and Real Resolve having plus three Rage put in it, and then plus three Iceborn as itself. The gauntlets and boots for the set is Togadaro's Brawn with plus three overpower and plus three overpower as itself, and Volcanic Treads, which is, has plus three Rage and plus three Discipline as itself. And then your lantern, Jurassic lantern, whatever lantern you want with plus three energized. All right, so for the umbral build, I chose the, or I'm using Void Bane because it is the last legendary weapon that will be in this list. So it's got its unique effect and plus the two slots or cell slots where you can put whatever you want in. I chose to put Sharpen 3 in the first slot and plus 3 Iceborne. The unique effect is that dealing Umbral damage to nearby enemies and teleport high into the sky. Then choose a spawn to slam down onto, dealing additional Umbral damage, un or un or usable once, but resets on Behemoth Kill. So pretty much that means if you somehow didn't get that, you use the ability you do umbral damage fly into the sky and then you slam down doing more umbral damage the bond i'm using is stalker shride which its unique effect is dealing damage has a chance to base on damage dealt to generate a shadow orb that increases damage dealt by 2.25 percent uh, for five seconds if five or more orbs are present the bonus doubles so it's not good but it's not bad Okay, so that's the main reason why I chose Stalker Stride is because of the Wild Frenzy perk that it provides. For the helmet and chest plate of the build, I have the Lightning Helm, which has the perk of plus three energized. And for its cell, I put in Wild Frenzy, or plus three Wild Frenzy. And for the, or, yeah, for our chest plate, we have Boral Resolve, perk is plus three rage and its cell i have plus three ice form in it for the gauntlet and boots we have togadaro's brawn which has the perk plus three overpower and i put plus three discipline in it and volcanic threads we have the perk is plus three rage and plus three overpower so 
The difference in the cells in this build against the other builds is that we now have plus six walk frenzy, which when under 50% health increases attack speed by 20 percent And the other difference is we don't have plus six sharpen and plus three sharpen. So now we only do plus 15% heart damage and not 30. And also remember, Jurassic Lantern plus three energized. This was the wackiest build I've made so far, so bear with me on this one. I hope it's good. And so, to start off, we have Valmir's Regard with plus three Aether Hunter on it. Power slots, we have plus three Energized and plus three Sharp, or Sharp, I mean, Cell slots. And the unique effect, once charged, your next attack will build 550 bonus rate and its charge rate increases with current health. Next we have the Dark Watch Helm, which has the perk of plus 3 Rage, and then in its cell slot we have plus 3 Discipline. Uh, in the chest plate we have, or as the chest plate we have Boil's Re Boil Resolve, which has plus 3 Rage as its perk, and Ice Born as its cell, or plus 3 Ice Born. For the Gauntlets and the Boots of the set we have Forgotten Rose Bomb, which has Perk of plus 3 of power and the cell is plus 3 of power. And for the boil march, which is the boots, we have perk and its perk is plus 3 ice board and its cell is plus 3 wild friends. A lot of things have changed about this build cells. We now have plus 3 aether hunter, which gives us plus 20% of damage versus anti charge of behemoths, and another change from the other builds to this build, when under 50% health, increase attack speed by 12.5%, that comes from plus 3 wild frenzy, and I guess also sharpness, or our sharpened is plus 3 which gives us 15 part damage, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the video, I know it was long, but there was a lot to cover, a lot for me to share, and I hope y'all can take these builds and put them into your gameplay in some way. And leave some feedback for me, like ways I can change them to make them better, whatnot. Just help me out. I help y'all out. It all works out. Okay. With all of this said, uh, I give.